Whenever the harvest of the Lord comes into your life, one thing that you want to always do is really take the time to think about these are things that God is doing to impress me. Impress me. See, God created the harvest system because he wanted to impress you. He wanted to shock you and make you amazed by him. We sing that song, Lord, I'm amazed by you. Lord, I'm amazed by you. Lord, I'm amazed by you and how you love me. And we sing songs like that. But look, look what the song is saying. Lord, I'm amazed at by how you love me. The harvest is something that God created in his wisdom before he ever made man. Because he said, this is the area where I'm going to show my, the effectual working of my power. There's the effectual working of God's power. And the effectual working of his power is where he seeks to impress you. Why did God create the bracket of, uh, of his person for miracles? Because he wanted to impress you. Okay, you got a tumor right here. It disappears. He's looking to impress you. Okay, you saints, I, I grew up, I had asthma when I grew up. I had chronic asthma. I couldn't breathe. I had chronic asthma. Any little thing would trigger my asthma. And I couldn't breathe. Now, during these times, years ago, years, a decade ago, during these times, I'll be sick. I'll be very sick. But the effectual working of the power of the Holy Ghost came inside of my body around 17 years old. And I felt two lungs. I felt the damaged lung and I felt the new lung. And then eventually the new lung took over the damaged lung. And it was all by divine effectual working of his power. You have a time while you're sowing into God that God has scheduled where he's going to impress you with Acts of love, miracles, signs, wonders. The reason why it's called wonders is because it's supposed to make you wonder. How is God doing this for me? How did I go from here to here? I had not enough, now I'm rich. I, I, I had sickness, now I'm healed. I had problems and now it's peace all around. I had confusion and now I have clarity. I had struggles, but now I have dominion. I had temptations, but now I have strength. Wonders and signs, miracles, signs and wonders. The signs is God giving you evidence of his mindset towards you. It's a sign of his love. It's a sign of his desire to impress you. It's a sign that he wants you to be his friend, his wife, his companion. These are signs that he wants to fellowship with you. The harvest time that God has scheduled is for you to experience him as your father. The fatherly love of God. Yes, he's God. He created you to worship him, but he's your father. And then he calls you his daughter, his son. He has left an inheritance that's continuous for his sons and daughters. That continuous harvest, continuous inheritance is for you to see his fatherly love. The harvest will come into your life and you'll have to study that God is doing these things to impress me. God is also doing these things to fortify my loyalty so that I'll never return back to sin. God is doing this to strengthen 
my pursuit of him. Saints, I want to show you this. This is so powerful in 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Look what it talks about after God started giving you the harvest. Look what it says. And a lot of people don't even know about this in the Word. Look at what 2 Corinthians chapter 9 says. In verse 11, it says, and now this is after the harvest come to you. It says, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness. Do you catch this? Being enriched. Enriched means that you're in riches. God has beautified and expanded everything that you wanted to enjoy. He has expanded it so that you can enjoy it in large measures. Look what it says, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness. That means that God is adding his riches anointing to the things that you love. Clothes, shoes, vehicles, house, jewelry, whatever you love, money, whatever you like rather, not love because love, love brings you into an evil realm. All the things that you like. Look what it says right here. Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God. So saints, as you look at this text, look what it says. The cause of why God brings the harvest is because he wants you to start giving him thanks. That's why God brings harvests to you. He wants you to become more thankful. So why does God make a person rich while they're sowing, while they're honoring him? He gives their wealth. He starts bringing in a floodgate of finances. He starts pouring out opportunities, giving them work ethic, anointing, giving them job, anointing, giving them idea, anointing, because he wants them to start thanking him more. So start training yourself. If you if you take notes, write this down. My thanksgiving today is magnetizing my wealth for tomorrow into today. If you're taking notes, write that down. My thanksgiving today is magnetizing my wealth for tomorrow into today. My thanksgiving is grabbing wealth miracles into the now. Because thanksgiving, if you're taking notes, write this down. Thanksgiving is a wealth trait. Thanksgiving is a wealth trait. So when you operate in Thanksgiving, you're operating in wealth. So imagine you don't, you don't, you, you don't, you don't, you don't see the wealth according to your natural eyes, but you, you start operating in Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a wealth trait. So Thanksgiving can't uh, exist without wealth alongside of it. Thanksgiving has an attachment to it. You know how somebody sends you an email and they got attachments or a text message, they got attachments. Thanksgiving can't operate solo apart from wealth. Now you know why Jesus took the five loaves and two fish and gave thanks. Because the giving of thanks is the giving of wealth. So out of the thanksgiving that Jesus did, here come the wealth. 